Hey, hey, good people, Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video, we're going to continue simplifying rational equations. Uh, so we're looking here, and our denominator is, uh, well, we have the equation v plus 24 equals 13 minus 30 over v. So the only denominator we have there is v, which is a variable. So we need to identify the excluded value by setting that expression equal to zero. So my excluded value for this is zero. So my solution can be anything else except zero. All right, the least common multiple of my denominators is also V. So let's multiply both sides by V. Okay, so on the left-hand side, we can go ahead and use our distributive property that gives us V squared plus 24 times V. On the right hand side, if I use my distributive property, that's 13 times V. And then if I multiply 30 over V times V, you see the V's will cancel each other out. So that just leaves me with minus 30. All right, now since I have a variable squared in this, it appears to be a quadratic equation. So we need to get everything, all of our terms on one hand, one side of the equal sign and have it set equal to zero. So I'm going to, let's go ahead and subtract 13V to start off. And we also need to move that negative 30. So let's add 30 to both sides. Okay, so we have v squared plus 11v equals, or plus 30 equals zero. So now we need to try to factor this. We need factors of 30 that add up to be 11. What do I multiply to get 30? What two numbers do I multiply to get 30 that also add up to be 11? So six and five. Now, when you solve an equation like this and you have uh, two binomials multiplied times each other equal to zero, the way you solve this and find actually two solutions here, you take each factor and set it equal to zero. So V plus six equals zero and V plus five equals zero. Subtract six from both sides. Subtract five from both sides. Neither one of those are um, my excluded values. And the, the, it says here to separate answer by commas if there's more than one solution. So normally if we were writing the answer out, we would write it like this, uh, but the, this asks us to separate them by commas. So negative six comma negative five. Alrighty, so we went through the same process, except this time we ended up with a variable squared. So we had to move everything to one side, factor, and then solve the equation. Alrighty, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.